Jolly, jolly good morning to you. It's always a good feeling and a great feeling to know that you are there with us. This is TMI Socials. It's now time for us to talk what's trending on the social media streets. My name is Anuolua Po Stevens, a social media butterfly. Now let's get into it already. As yesterday, a minor fire incident was recorded at the affluent treatment plant of the Dangote refinery in Lagos yesterday morning. So the fire was immediately put out as firefighters and first respondents swiftly rose to the occasion. Now in a statement, a spokesman for the company, Anthony Chijina, said, operations at the refinery was not affected in any way. There is no cause for alarm as the refinery is operating and there is no recorded injury or body arm to all of our staff on duty, he said. But let's take a look at how it did go down yesterday in Lagos at Dangote Refinery. Mr. D, yeah, gas plenty. You outside going first. You know, come inside. You decide going first. All member outside first. I am the controller right now. Since the main controller will come, I will be the controller. Sorry. Oh, already me, already Malu. But uh, uh, thank you already here now. Five seconds already there. See, yeah, see, yeah, see, see, see this time now. You, you see. And those were the videos circulating all over social media. But moving over to your reaction. But before we click, we move over to your reaction. Yesterday as well, there was another trending video of Prophet Udu Meje prophecy. So he allegedly said before this thing happened yesterday, he had seen it and talked about it in his church. Let's take a look at that video. Before that Oye finally born, I see fire coming in that Oye kingdom. Please, I'm praying for you. Tell Dangote I said. I'm telling you, that's all. I saw where they are burning that, uh, uh, that oil you catch fire. That place. I saw fire on that Dangote oil you something. I have seen it. I want to keep quiet. I say, if they say now, I said I'm prophesying. But the, I, I don't know when God push it out for me because there's uh, so many things I want to keep quiet. Moving over to reactions, some persons were saying, why do you always see bad stuff? Don't you see good things at all? What's with your prophecy and revelation? But let's move over to you, the street of socials, and get your thoughts. This user, Emmanuel, says, what could be the reason for this fire outbreak? This isn't a good news to good people of Nigeria. This will surely lead to retrogression. Our safety officers need to step up because safety first. Totally agree with you on this one. Mazi Chuk says, God, I beg all. Nothing should happen to our hope for possible drops in the pump price of petroleum products. And then he's praying loudly. Peter Slim says, wait a minute. Now, the refinery went in. The supply has fuel for 100 naira day on fire. So, question, if you ask me. Now, this user says, black man, black heart. The fire outbreak is a deliberate sabotage to cripple the refinery so that importation of energy will remain on the continuum. Nigeria's enemies aren't outsiders, but Nigerians. I feel this fire outbreak isn't an accidental eruption. Importers of energy are frustrated by the fact a local refinery came into existence. But, um, okay, now another thought still, one more. This guy says, Moses says, Udumeje says, Udumeje says that. Why can't he pray so the fire outbreak won't come through? Another one says, refinery will never start, don't they burn? Ah, our hope of fuel to 300 naira. And then he's crying and laughing out loud. But I love the fact that, um, you know, Dangote Refinery quickly came out with a press statement yesterday to say there was no cause for alarm, everything is totally fine and good. Away from that now, let's go to another trending story. As the federal government says, releasing of skits, 
films or music videos without the National Films and Video Censor Board classification is an offense. Now, they went ahead to say movie classification at a age rating, or age rating and content advice to films and other audiovisual content. Um, it helps Nigerian children and the families of, as well choose what is right for them and what to avoid. Remember that in May, the NFVCB announced plans to begin classification for audiovisual content like skits and music videos. So basically, um, what's there, the federal government right now is saying that for content creators, social media users, releasing skits without, you know, the National Films and Video Censors Board classification is an offense. Talking about this age rating of 18 plus, do not watch and all of that stuff, uh, you know, put together. But let's move over to the streets and get your thoughts on socials. Big Shout says, my candid advice to the current government of Nigeria, if they are reading this, don't push Nigeria's youth to the wall. Allow it belief or allow them breathe in peace. Okay. And Bright says, even the little means where youth they use see little rubber. These people still won't collect tasks. Nigeria's system is designed to keep you poor. Sad but true. My Miami is saying, use the part to track the kidnappers, UGM, bandits, the people causing unrest, and leave people entertaining and making a living. Okay, um, another reaction still in the story. Another reaction. Okay, so I think that's all we have on that one. Well, away from that now to a sad story, as it was in the news yesterday, that a former CEO of an e-commerce company, Conga, Nick Mudia reportedly committed suicide. Now, um, Nick Mudia is an Ika South native of Delta State, and a former Conga boss reportedly took his life. Um, report says that the former chief executive officer of one of Nigeria's e commerce giants, Conga, took his life on the 9th of Tuesday, June 25th, by jumping from the balcony of his Lekki Lagos apartment. And before he made the jump, he had called his US-based brother to give him instructions on how to distribute his wealth should anything happen to him. He also called his younger daughter um, from a previous relationship and told her he would always be there for her and that all she ever needed um, was to look into the sky and she would see her. His friends, family and associates are still in shock as to why he committed suicide. So at this point, no one has a clue of why this um, former CEO of Conga committed suicide. But let's take your thoughts and see how netizens have been reacting on socials. Aura Ross says, if a wealthy tells you his real problems, to become rich will scare you. The poor man is chasing after wealth and comforts, which a rich man has, while the rich man is struggling to find peace of mind, which the poor man has. The poor man doesn't know he has peace of mind until he becomes rich. Irony of life. Hmm. Another thought, Duke of Africa is saying, prove that money is not everything. Indeed. Um, AKA says, so rich people, they commit suicide. See why I say money doesn't guarantee happiness. And finally on the story, this one is saying, building mental health is more important than anything else. Mental health doesn't know rich or poor. And that's what leads to suicide. When a person starts feeling his life is not worth living anymore, there is a shift already in the mind. This is beyond the financial problem. So, so true. But my condolences goes out to the family, and I pray that his soul rests in peace. Amen. Um, away from that now, away from the whole saga in Nigeria, let's move over to Kenya, where there is a latest update um, as regards the brouhaha and drama that's been happening in Kenya for a couple of days now. As of yesterday, President William Ruto has yielded to public pressure and announced that he will not sign the Finance Bill 2024, acknowledging that the voices of the people have been heard. At least five people have been killed and 31 wounded in the protest in Nairobi against the proposed tax hike. 
Amnesty International and other organizations have alerted that 12 permanent people involved in the protest movement have been abducted in the five days leading to Tuesday's unrest. Two people were also killed in similar demonstrations last week. Let's listen to President William Ruto Verbatim. On my own behalf, and on behalf of these members and many other Kenyans, I send my condolences to the families of those who lost their loved ones in this very unfortunate manner. Consequently, having reflected on the continuing conversation around the content of the Finance Bill 2024, and listening keenly to the people of Kenya, who have said loudly that they want nothing to do with this Finance Bill 2024, I concede, and therefore I will not sign the 2024 Finance Bill, and it shall subsequently be withdrawn, and I have agreed with these members that that becomes our collective position. Now, in his words, I concede and therefore I will not sign the bill. Part of the people, part of the democracy today, if you ask me. But before we move over to how netizens have been reacting on socials, let's have a glimpse of what has been going on in Nairobi, Kenya. Power of the people, talking about democracy there. Moving over to your thoughts on socials. This user, Mike, says, the power of the people is stronger than the people in power. The Gen Zs have done us proud. God bless Kenya. Amen. Another thought. Another thought. Now, this one says, lazy Nigerians and Zimbabweans should learn a thing or two from Kenya. And then that's the picture there with the hands, you know, outstretched out. Now, Justice Hunter says, this is what democracy should look like. I mean, um, leaders listen and act according to the will of the people, not the will of autocrats. Another thought still, Fred Worth is saying, Kenyan's president, William Ruto, should apologize for all the time he wasted for the citizens and resign immediately. Okay, now the seeker is saying, we can see the effect of standing as one voice, word, will, power, and unity. Congratulations to Kenyans. I hope we learn to stand as one to fight for the country's good. Alrighty, a big congratulations to Kenyans indeed. We're speaking about him resigning. African leaders ever resign. Anyway, away from that now to a funny viral video um, that caught my attention on socials as um, Nigerians were in R of four boys competing in Amala, eating competition. Take a look at this. And 
there we have it. We have a winner. <laughs> now, these are the kind of competition you should invite me over to, you know what I mean? But let's move over to your thoughts on socials. Um, this user is saying, now one person, they compete here. The rest, just they eat. If you know, you know. Another one says, nothing concerned orange and green with competition. It shall won't be a fool. Hey, hey. Well, uh, moving over to another thought. Finally, this guy, Kenneth Emeka, says, when their mates are competing for technology in China. Here we are in Nigerians competing for food. And Kingston as it says, my guy on orange still they maintain steez and composure. Interesting times we are in Nigeria, I would love to always say, um, Daniel Praise. Well, I, I feel like having a board of Amala now this morning after the whole show. But however, the guy on Orange, he didn't go there to compete. <laughs> he went there to eat. <laughs> he actually went there to just get himself okay and move on to the next one. But talking about fire outbreak in Dangote, of, um, uh, company now uh, it, 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 it's not a good one it's not a good signal for us as a nation you know uh, this is um, an oil producing firm that just started mm. and it's supposed to stand as a kind of alternative for Nigerians if fire is now getting there uh, people like Prophet Odumeje has already seen it I, I think we should start putting this in place so that we will not have a kind of reoccurrence again because uh, it's going to affect the productivity hmm. uh, of that place. And away from that, uh, this man that actually took his own life, hmm. just imagine uh, someone that has actually risen to a position of a CEO. Hmm. Of With a, all the affluence and wealth and everything, like, what else do you want? Life That's is not balanced. Uh, you know, I, I went through the notes uh, he dropped. He actually dropped some things for his daughter mm -hmm. and actually sent message to his relatives and all that. You know, uh, the fact is, if people who are actually wealthy and they are doing fine, taking their lives at this point, what now happens to the common man mm -hmm. who are still struggling and battling for survival? Mm -hmm. A lot to be done. Now, back to Kenya where mm -hmm. we, we saw a whole lot of progress. That's a good one. Is it's it? a good one. I, I told some persons recently, I say Nigerians are very patient. You know, Nigerians have a way of bearing and forbearing. Oh, we're really and patient. Yes. So we're very loud on social media. All we do is mm. castigate, drag this, and then serious issues that should be taken seriously. We That's what the food. government want. You know? you know, in a way, the government have a way of engaging people. Hmm. I'll, I'll tell you that after the whole show. <laughs> we'll talk about this so you understand. A government have a way of uh, bringing things to the fore burner that will just take away your attention. But however, let's get to Tolu and hear from Tolu. I'm sure Tolu has some insights he would like to share as far as TMI socials today is concerned. I'm just wondering how many muscles of Amala can the two of you take at a go? Right there, uh, talking about the Amala. No, no, no you, you, you don't try me, Tolu. You know, I know you are you are of the region that deals with Amala, but you can't take that away from us here. I'm sure I know, I know we are going to try. We'll go to I don't know whether Amala Africa also be able to compete with you guys. 